Welcome back to the cabin. Uh, Corey and I are back at the cabin this weekend by ourselves with Colt. We actually got Colt a new dog bed. He had been sleeping on the floor here at the cabin, um, but we wanted him to have a nice bed to sleep in. He has a history of eating and chewing up dog beds, but now he's a little bit older, so we think he'll do better. Are you gonna come be in the video? I don't know if you can see this tub in the screen, but uh, my mom actually gave us this tub. Uh, for storage, it's like a storage tub. We think it'd be nice to be able to put some things in that we want to leave at the cabin and don't want animals or bugs or things getting into. So if this fits under our bed, that would be perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start unpacking and kind of setting up the cabin for our weekend here. Corey actually left. He went hunting. We tried to get here to the land before evening so that Corey could get out hunting and go bow hunting today. We were a little bit late, but he did decide to still go. So he's out hunting right now. I also want to go out and just spend some time outside, so I'm going to unpack and then go do that. The leaves are mostly gone these days on the trees, but it's beautiful in a new way. I love seeing the trees without leaves because you can see the growth from year to year if you really know the trees well. I feel less stressed lately, thankfully, and I hope you guys feel the same. There's just no way that I can do this place justice. It's incredibly beautiful here and it feels nice just to get away and to be out here. We don't live here full time at the cabin, but it's almost sweeter when you have a place to go that you don't live that feels so good. As soon as we get here, I feel refreshed and I'm smiling and I always say as soon as we walk in the door of the cabin that I love this place. I absolutely love this place. Something I'm working on is I want to learn more about plant identification. I don't know how to identify a lot of plants, especially ones in Minnesota I really want to learn. On my walk today I saw lots of fungi, which aren't plants, but I also now lately have been very interested in fungi and mushrooms and there's so much to learn.
still have enough coffee for another round. Colt actually used his bed last night. I didn't really think he would stay in it. I, When we went to bed last night, he wanted to sleep on the rug rather than in his dog bed. But once he got comfy in his dog bed, he stayed there, I think, all night, didn't he? Yeah. Are you such a good dog? Are you such a good dog? Good morning. Good morning. What's your plan for today? Get whatever we can get done. Possibly Reflectix, work on electrical, work on plumbing, can always make more firewood. We got a party we gotta go to so we won't be here all day. Uh, maybe work on the stove pipe a little bit. Slight miscalculation when we put the foam on the wall. We should have moved it all the way up to the top plate, but I wanted to extend it past the the floor down to the floor joist. Uh, keep wind from blowing in through the floor. Um, so now we just gotta fill in the crack. The soffit and fascia plug that off pretty well, but there's still a little bit of a draft. I was hunting last night and uh, heard a bunch of noise, and turns out there was flock of turkeys probably a hundred yards away from me. I only was watching one of them but uh, right before it got dark they uh, took off and flew to a tree. They roosted in a tree and uh, they all took off one at a time and I think there was about a total of seven of them in this one tree and I from what I could see, it looked like there was two of them on the same branch right next to each other, a couple of lovebirds. But uh, it was pretty cool. Really nice night last night. Honestly, this morning we really haven't done a whole lot. I mean, Corey did do some more insulation work. Um, I cleaned up a little bit and got some kindling put together. I also put up the trail camera and checked our other trail camera and got the fire going and made some coffee. But really, it's just been a relaxing morning. I'm actually up in a deer stand right now. I decided to go for a walk. I wanted to see some animals, but yesterday when I went for a walk, I didn't really see any animals. So I decided to sit in a deer stand <laughs> and I brought my camera. I'm just gonna try and get pictures. I have a nice lens so I can kind of zoom in on things if I see anything. I'm like not really thinking that I need to see something big. I think it would be awesome to see a grouse or a pheasant or a turkey, even squirrels, <laughs> like anything. The birthday party we went to today ended up being kind of a, a long thing. We were there for a, a few hours. We thought we were gonna come back and get some work done on the cabin before going out hunting, but that didn't happen. To be honest, we're not in a huge rush to work on the cabin right now. We know we want to do a tongue and groove wall um, and a hardwood floor, we think, over the plywood floor that we have. And the wood we're going to use for that is actually going to be sawn at Corey's brother's sawmill. And then we're going to have to dry the wood and um, 
form it into tongue and groove. So it's going to be a long process. We don't even have the lumber that we want to use yet. So it's just going to take a long time. And so in our minds, there's no need to rush through the electrical and plumbing and things like that when the next step after that is going to be putting in the tongue and groove and the insulation because we know we have to wait to do that. We don't know how long it's going to take, especially now, enjoy the fall, enjoy the last few really nice weekends of the year before it gets really cold. And then once it's snowy, we can do the plumbing and wiring just fine and not feel like we're missing out on being outside. Thank you so much for watching, by the way. I've never really said that in a video before, but we really appreciate um, the comments we get from everybody and that you all watch our journey and kind of follow along with us. We actually have new hooks for the hammock this week, little metal hooks to hang the hammock to the wall because the ones we used last week bent when Nora was laying in it and we are much heavier than Nora so we needed to upgrade our hardware. Are you going to sit in it first? No, go ahead. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. Where's Nora? Compared to the old hooks, these are way heavier. Hey, we're on it. It is holding. It's actually really nice. <laughs> you look so comfortable. Yeah, this is this is not a bad spot to be actually. The fire's right there. On a scale of one to ten, how comfy is the hammock? Um I'd say an eight. How could it be better? Mm, if it was pulled tighter so it wasn't quite such a, a U shape. Something about sunrises is absolutely magical. I could watch the sunrise every single day and be inspired by each one differently.
Corey made soup a few days ago, and we brought it up here to have it for dinner, but we didn't actually have dinner last night, or the night before. <laughs> We've been eating snacks and stuff instead. So for breakfast today, we get to have vegetable and beef soup, chicken. Is it chicken? What is it? Venison? Pork. <laughs> oh. Slept pretty good. I think we only got it once. Um, filling in the cracks really helped hold the heat in here longer. It was 56 degrees in here this morning. So this morning we're going to uh, probably take the battery up to the yard and charge it. That's getting pretty low, the lights were getting dim last night. We do have a charger for the battery that we're charging the battery via the generator out here. But it just doesn't charge very efficiently, so we're going to bring it to the yard and use a better battery charger, right? Yeah, yeah, the one that we have out here is just a trickle charger, mainly for maintaining batteries. But we don't run the generator more than an hour or two a day, so it's not keeping up. And the only things we're really using the battery for are the lights at night. It's always sad seeing the cabin empty and all of our stuff already taken out of here. But it's time to go. Once again, back to civilization. <laughs> <laughs> 